Hello! The purpose of this tutorial is to show you how to create rollover buttons for the web in Adobe Photoshop CS3. While rollover buttons can be created with a variety of programs, Photoshop affords you the flexibility to create flashy and attractive designs. In part one of this two-part tutorial series, we will cover three main steps necessary for creating rollover buttons in Photoshop. First, we'll create a snappy set of buttons to use for our standard, or off, state. Next, we'll generate the alternate rollover, or on, state. Finally, we'll format the images to save for the web. The companion video, or part two, shows you how to import your rollover menu into your existing website design project. To follow these steps without much difficulty, you should be familiar with the following elements of Adobe Photoshop CS3. The interface, editing text and colors, and working with multiple layers. OK, let's get started. From the File menu, click New Document and set your settings for the appropriate dimensions. Ours will be 800 by 150 pixels, matching up with the size of our rollover menu. With a new custom document opened, we need to create a layer for our original set of buttons. Next, we'll create the original buttons to serve for our off state in our menu, or what visitors will see before hovering over with their mouse. We will demonstrate just one variation of how to create a flashy set of buttons. The buttons for our sample design portfolio will have rounded corners, a light bevel, and some faint shading, all of which we can control with the Layer Style menu. We'll also be using a lighter shade of blue for the primary color. With the design completed, we need to add the text for our buttons. Select the Text tool from the toolbar, ensure your button layer is active, and enter the type over the button. For our example, we need three buttons in our menu bar, so we'll be creating Home, Contact, and Portfolio. Select both the text and button layers together, and drag them to the Create New Layer icon in the Layers window. A copy of each layer has now been created on top of your original button. Drag this new button next to the first and change the text layer. You can repeat this step as necessary until your full menu has been created. With our buttons created, it's time to make an on or rollover state for our menu. To do this, we'll be using the Slice tool from the toolbar to define an area for each button. Define this area by dragging the slice over the first button. Repeat this action for each of the buttons in your menu. With all of your layers selected in the Layers window, click the Create New Group button. Rename your group Off to indicate this is how the buttons will look without the mouse over. Next, to create our On or Rollover group, drag the Off folder to the Create New Layer icon in the Layers tray. Rename your new group On to keep the two groups organized. Use the Slice Select tool and click on the slice covering your first button. When the Slice Options window pops up, rename the slice to indicate the button's name and the off state. Repeat this step for each of the button slices in your menu bar. In the Layers window, click the eyeball icon next to the Off group to make them invisible. Now that we're only working with the On group, we need to rename their slices as well. So, with the Slice Select tool, click on the slice covering your first button and rename it. Our example will be On underscore Home. Go ahead and repeat this step for each of your buttons. With our slices saved, we're going to change how the menu buttons look when your website's visitors move their mouse over them. Select a text layer from the On group in your Layers window and double-click the Type icon to edit this text. Change the button's text to a color with enough contrast to show the difference between the two states. Repeat this step for each one of your buttons, making sure to keep the use of color consistent throughout. You now have two distinctly different states for your menu bar buttons, and if you're satisfied with how your rollover or on state looks, you could be finished with the creation process at this point. For our example, however, we're going to take advantage of Photoshop's embedded design features and give our rollover buttons a spicier appearance.
From the File menu, select Save for Web and Devices. In the pop-up window, click Save. Next, make sure that all slices are selected in the Slices drop-down menu, and save your On Image file. Saving the On state in a separate folder will help keep the On and Off button images apart, which will help you tremendously when it comes time to import these images into your website. In the Layers window, we need to switch the visibility of the layers by making the On group invisible so we can save the Off. With the Off group isolated, repeat the File, Save for Web and Devices action from the previous step. Save this file with a different name than you did with the on. Now you're ready to incorporate both of these menu bar images into the design of your website, which we'll cover in part two of this tutorial series. For now, that concludes this part of our tutorial. If you have any questions concerning the creation process, please leave them in the comments below, and we'll try our best to answer them ourselves or point you to some helpful resources that might do the trick. Thanks for watching. Now go forth and design.